We had mentor from seven to eight, mm-hmm. but they stay in a little bit longer because you have a lot of work. And then you go back home, sleep, eat, do it all over again. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't even got time to beat your dick. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> What up, it's your boy Larry Love, and welcome back, man, to another edition of the Last Word Podcast, Volume One, Part. Uh, Stop counting when I was having sex with your mom. Who <laughs> is on the panel today, man? I got my boy Curly J in the building, bro. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Chief Neef, man. What's up? It's your boy Cartier J. And we also have two very special guests to my it left. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's Maya. Hey, I'm Kiami. Okay, where can they find y'all on uh, your social, like Instagram and all that? Um, Instagram, Emaya with three Y's and three A's. Um, and Snapchat, it's Emaya12. Um, Instagram, Kiami, K-Y-A-M-I dot Cruz, C-R-U-Z. And then Snapchat is Kiami dot Cruz. All right, then. So, shit, we ain't really going to BS it, man. We're going to get straight to it, man. We have them in the... The casting couch today because uh, they are <laughs> oh God, we can't, we can't be saying that. and we are starting our uh i guess our series of college athletes so we're gonna start with softball one of my favorite sports so real quick man yeah, what got y'all yeah. in wait 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 y'all y'all are going a little too far i want y'all to introduce ourselves a little bit first so like tell us a little bit about where y'all go to your college major tell us a little bit sports about you your play yeah. <laughs> okay um, I'm Imaya. I am from Atlanta, Georgia. I uh, go to the University of Memphis. Um, <laughs> and yeah, you know. right. Um, I'm Kiami. I go to. I play for FAMU. I'm an upcoming junior. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, I just finished my freshman year too. Ooh. <laughs> okay. What's up? Okay, we got a got a youngin in here. Okay. Oh, don't do that. I'm not that damn young. I'm thank not. you, thank you. I, it's, it's cool. He I'm a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my bills are paid. Nigga, okay. Everybody bills paid. <laughs> you acting like we just some uh, broke ass niggas. Like, damn. It's okay. I'm gonna save you. Thirty man. Oh God. <laughs> but anyways, though, how was your? How would you say your freshman year experience was as a college athlete? Um, it was terrible. Damn. Um, Dang. My program. My program was just terrible. We only won fourteen games. Um. Out of how many? Like fifty-two. Who? Sheesh. Yeah, let's see that at fifty-two. Yeah, my coach didn't. That's thirty percent. Yeah. She just, <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't the best. Like she didn't she made changes at the last minute. Um it just wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. And you're shaking your head, yes. Was your freshman year experience not that good either? It was, it was it, listen, <laughs> the school was amazing. I bet it the was. Program it was just very let's just say different because my coach they're very young. They're like 25, 26, both of them. And the head coach transferred, like the main coach, or she retired. She retired. And it was just a mess. Like, we won like 14 out of yeah. 56 games. Like, we didn't even go to the tournament. It was COVID. <laughs> it was COVID year, mm-hmm. my freshman year. There was only two freshmen. So we did all the, like, all the shit for all the girls. It was like a bunch of bullshit. You like, hate that too, don't you? D- but it's, it's like, I know those. you could have picked up it's, all it's, those balls yeah. by your damn we self. We had to run for it. We had, like, yeah, we had, for real, we had to run hills. Oh Damn. God. And we're yeah. the highest of the seven hills, so. Yeah, we had, like, 20 poles. That was cool. No doubt. So, wait, like, what do you mean by, like, what do you do, like, as a freshman? I know you, like, take their bags to the room, like, type no, shit. Like, what is it? a lot of, like, duties, like, stu- <laughs> like stupid stuff, like, go picking pick up, up the ball. Right, picking up balls after practice. But they talking to you like that? Set up, no. Like, uh, did you be yeah, no. Cause we had seniors and usually they're the ones who like have to like hey do this shit but they wasn't even like that for real it was just like if we don't do it we run and, like, mm. the freshmen like, don't do it yeah yeah the fr- and it's only the no matter how many freshmen there are there was only me and one other girl and we yeah. had to set up we had to clean up we had to pick wow. up like after other girls like we had to clean the locker room after you did, I feel like you had it worse than I did. Yeah, you had no. They cool as hell. They cool as hell. respect. No, 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 no. They they cool as hell. My teammate cool cool as hell. Like we be fighting sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Like we get in the fight some, but like when it comes down to to me, gritty, like we'll come together. Well, 
I feel like we should dial it back a little bit. Like, what got y'all into softball? Like, when did y'all start? What age? Um, I started when I was five. And at this point, I was just like, when I, when I was that age, I was like figuring out what I wanted to do. So like, I would play softball, I did volleyball, I did track. So then softball just caught my heart and then I ran with it. So that's what drove me. Hmm. What about you? Um, I started at like, I think six. And when I was living in Maine, it was just like, the sports is totally different from people in Maine and people in Georgia. Like, being one of the only black girls in me, like, made me stand out a lot. So I did soccer, softball, track, like, swimming, like, everything. everything. Just, just anything I could, like, get That was into. a sport. I was a gymnastic. Yeah. Like, I was just for the shit to get. It was like, okay. and then we moved to Georgia, and it really came down to, like, you had to focus on one thing. So I really, um, it was softball season. Actually, I hated softball. That was, like, the <laughs> I hate it. I be hearing that a lot. Absolutely. Like the sports that people hate, they always yeah, turn out to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that shit is so I weird. Like, I absolutely hated it. I did not want to play, but my dad was like, "Hey, the team's like having this try. You should just go." I was like, "Okay," and then I just stuck with it. And then in high school, I ran track. I always wondered that though, because you talk about softball and the sports that women always. Well, not women, just sports in general. Softball isn't particularly like a popular sport. So like. When like when y'all went to like choosing softball like like it was like like why and why are y'all sticking with it? Cause a lot of people I know a lot of people that used to play when they were younger they gave it up. Why? Yeah, I I did before I decided. I did. The money in softball for real? Yeah, yeah. yeah Ooh, I didn't like, hear about this. Yeah. Um, before I decided, I did competition chair and I did softball and I cut competition off because I knew I was gonna get a scholarship to softball. So if you come back, if you come back to it, like when you're done with the sport, travel ball, like when we used to enter tournaments, you gotta play tur like pay tournament fees, you gotta pay the coach fees, you gotta pay like um, your uniform, like the monthly fees. If you own an organization in the softball world, you definitely make it like fifteen hundred plus a month. Like it's that's where the money is. Like and now it's starting to get even more popular because young girls are seeing the older girls on on like on TV and everything. Especially and like, play. with the trainers and stuff. Oh, like yeah. hitting lessons. What? Like I did hitting lessons and I got paid fifty an hour. Yeah. I literally paid my hitting coach seventy dollars for forty five minutes. Yeah. And then yeah. my athletic trainer, I paid him one eighty for a week. Not even an yeah. hour. Yeah. Money. 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 A lot of people, like, I look the same as a lot of people. Like, it wasn't nothing, like, standout-ish. But in mm -hmm. softball, you'll find, like, either really skinny girls or, like... A big girl. Yeah, or <laughs> really short girls. Like, you find short girls all the time. Like, it's very rare to see, like, 5'8 and above. Like, really? it's very, like... we Every I time I went to, it was just... Or in every team I joined, it was just, like, a bunch of short girls. Most of the teams I've been on, I was a short zone. They would be like six foot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's how that's how it's it's it. Yeah. It's just Two motherfuckers in the WNBA. I'm about to say that's a bad guy. <laughs> you playing the wrong sport. Oh, <laughs> man, <that's cool>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that man. Hearing y'all talk about softball and the passion y'all have for it, that's great too, because I know the uh, I was actually shocked too, the um the softball world series. It was, uh, I think it just passed or whatever recently, and a lot of people weren't really talking about it that much, which was crazy because I know OU women's team is like really, really good. Mm -hmm. So, who is like, before y'all got to college, who was the team or the people that y'all looked up to? And That's a good question. Yeah. And, and with that, like, with that being said, right, when you were making your college decision, like, did you think about that team and why did you choose the current team that you're on instead of? Uh, yeah. I think yeah. when I played, I didn't really have a dream school. It was really like, um, no, you good. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like, um, everybody used to tell us, like, you need to have a dream school. Blah, blah, blah. No, I didn't. I didn't care. As long as they was giving me money. I was, <laughs> I was my school paid for. Hey, I was fine. Yeah. School for free. Come on. Literally. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. I just, um. Go ahead. You can finish. <laughs> no, nah, because I, okay, I was about to say, like, um, 
because I know, like, I, I had a conversation uh, late earlier, and I know you was like, after college, like the pro pro softball, you don't really make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So, I guess you really like it. Really doesn't matter. All you need to do is get your shit paid for, like your mm -hmm. books and shit. Because once you get that shit paid for, you set. Wait, that's a pro softball. It is. Yeah. I swear, I, I know that. It's YouTube saying it's like overseas. Because like, you know how they do uh, the NBA. So it's like the WNBA where they go overseas to make much uh, money. See, mm. I, I thought that there was not professionally, because I haven't heard one. And that's just me not reading up about it. Because you know how there's a WNBA and the NBA, like Women's National Basketball and just the National Basketball. There's no like. WMLB. Yeah, there's no like Women's Major League, you know, softball. Well, not MLB. Like that, yeah. so. But how much. Wait, it is. It is. It is. It is. It's not popular. It's not oh, all. Like, oh, yeah. College, yeah. college is it's way is. more popular than like a major league. Like, I, I think know. college I sports know. across the board is better. Yeah, well, college football is a lot more entertaining. College football, yeah. basketball, everything. Well, I don't say basketball, but I Bro, think college football. Uh, NBA, like, NBA. March NBA. Madness? I mean, just for that whole season, though, for the whole season. Okay, okay. Y'all don't, 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 don't watch NBA the whole season. Yes, I, I do. do. I do. Y'all do. 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 do not watch how y'all watch the finals. Y'all watch every dribble of the finals. Yeah. It's the only game you watch. Know. Nigga, it's the only game you watch basketball on a daily basis, bro. Come on now. Bro, cap. But anyways, wait, I got a quick question. Go ahead, brother. So, what? Shut up, Larry. No, but anyway. Really quickly, so you were talking about like the whole like pay discrepancies and stuff like that. All right, a lot of the girls who are in softball, if you want to be 100%, do you think that they're in it because they want to actually get into these major leagues or are they in it because they just want to get paid for college? Good question. Um, necessarily, I don't hear a lot of girls that say, oh, I'm going to go pro. Like, yeah. I, I just know my goal was I'm going to get this scholarship because my mom was spent thousands of dollars. Expensive. We out there all day, every weekend playing. So that was my goal to get the scholarship to pay the money back. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, like, these girls got some passion. And I'm like, oh my God. They live, breathe, die, softball. But they just waiting for that four years to be over with. Like, they're going to live up that four years. And, like, after that, they're going to be with their career. Like, yeah. And stuff like that is, it's like, you hate to see it because you see it for men, but you don't see it for women. Yeah. And it's like, I know I know we're still trying to grow in that industry and then grow in that community of raising more, way, more awareness for women's sports and getting more respect for them so they can have more money, so they can do their dreams. But, you know, like you said, everything, there's a, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> no, I'm not really yeah, go, go ahead, but You said raising awareness. Like, bro, all these NIL deals, and I haven't thought about it for a long time, though. Why haven't I seen more women's um, athletes in more commercials? Like, obviously, Simone Biles. Simone Biles is, like, the top of the top. Mm -hmm. And, obviously, Serena and Gatorade and Skylar Diggins and Body Armor, they're at the top of the top. I don't see, like, and I know these NIL deals, a lot of college athletes, I don't see a lot of women in commercials. Like, the men are, they don't have deals. Actually, if you think about it, the women, in my opinion, are more marketable than the men, if you think about it. Because I feel like with men, it's like they don't really – other than sports, a lot of these guys, they don't know, like, the language, so, like, the smarts or wherewithal. I feel like the women know more about that. So, talk about that. Why do you think there aren't, as like, why do you think there aren't, and uh, why isn't there that much coverage in women's sports? We're women living in a man's world mm -hmm. at the end of the day. That comes with anything. That doesn't only come with sports. That doesn't only come with, like, scholarships and mm -hmm. shit like that. That comes with every little thing that yeah. happens everywhere, like... Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's changing for yeah. sure. Like, it's getting better, but mm -hmm. like, there could be so much more. Like, I'm not saying men don't deserve it and anything but you like guys that. More. But yeah, like, no, we give we y'all life. Like, we, if without us, y'all be no, that. No, no. I ain't never heard nobody coming out of a man's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you guys are where it starts and where it ends, yeah. I definitely agree with that. Because I went to my first WNBA game two years ago. And I was dreading it. I'm not going to lie. I was like, man, I ain't trying to go to this shit. I don't want to see no goddamn 360 layup. I can go to the rec center in LA and see that shit. <laughs> but when you see, like, women's sports and all that, the men's sports, it's all flat, but the women's sports are the fundamentals. They break it down, and it's actually sound basketball. 
I feel like professional sports is kind of getting away from that's too flashy or whatever. And I ain't gonna lie, all the women like sports in my school, and like when I hear growing up too, like from other people's schools, a lot of them were better than like yo, the men. Yo, like they would win yeah. way hey. more championships and stuff like that than the men hey. teams. We were at, my, at my school, than, uh, yeah. than our baseball team in high school. Yeah, we brought four yeah. regional champions. At, at my school, some of the games, like so, you know how it is in varsity sports for basketball, it'd be. The girls' game, you know, a few people pull up, but everybody pull up for the boys' game. Yeah, but I'll be I'll be there for all games too, cause you know my brother played JV, and I had a home ground on the on the varsity girls' team. Okay. But basically, like, <laughs> but basically, like some of the games, like the varsity girls, they were way like way better. Yeah, blow girls blow out hundred like hundred before. Oh. Bro, I know, and it's I know at like Westlake, the girls played after the guys. Like it was some Bro, schools. That, that's how good they were. Yeah, like the girls played like the it was varsity boys, then varsity girls. At the and they went like four straight and one. I think they went like in you four years. You never been to a school like that. It's always yeah. like girls then guys. Yeah, it's, oh, like, like, it's school like, games. Westlake, 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 in four years, I think the girls were like I'm going around. I think they were like 90 and 0 or 92 yeah. and 0. They was on the news every year, and bro. And then like they went four straight championships. And then they went to Geico National, which is like, it used to be called Dick's Nationals, but it's Geico. So that's like the top of yeah, the top for facts. all the high schools. And they won. They were the number one ranked team and they swept it and they were undefeated. So I don't know. I think girls sports are all going to come up. But I think what needs to happen for girls sports, this is just me talking. I think they need more televised games. Because a lot of these times, they don't televise the games. They, and, like, you're just seeing yeah. highlights and stuff. They, like, you, you it's post in a little... very low quality. Yeah. They, or they, it's, they not, it's not a big commentary. Because they don't have they no budget them, for it. you got to pay for it. Like, yeah. Plus, like, you have to pay for and it. And the thing about it is... Where the money coming from yeah. or not? Like, I know LeBron is, he's, you know, he's the greatest player of the 21st century. There's no debate about that. But I should not know what LeBron had for breakfast. Yeah, I hate... I, I, I cannot NBA stand that shit, bro. That's crazy. LeBron sponsored us this past year. Yes, we, yeah. yeah, we got so much publicity. Not only for, I mean, basketball got a lot. Like, mm -hmm. and you don't really have somebody for softball that could be like, oh, this is the like top person, like yeah. that everybody just knows, like it's the queen of softball, and yeah. you just like, hey, let me put y'all my name on it mm -hmm. and like promote y'all. We're going off of other sports mm -hmm. things, like big names for football, big names for basketball. And at least the women get to have his title in basketball, too. That's not the same as, like, mm -hmm. softball. And why do you think there's no, because you know how we can talk about, like, we just had a debate about the GOAT of sports. I think, did you say Serena was, like, the GOAT? Of yeah, the yeah but it's easy, man. But, like, easy. we can talk about tennis, it's no debate. We can talk about the greatest WNBA basketball player. I think it might be um Isn't it Sue Bird? Yeah, Candace Parker, Sue Bird, Sue Bird. Naya Tarazi, or um who's another Lisa Leslie. It might be one of them for Cheryl Swoops. But as far as softball, I cannot think of a lot of women's softball players. And I know it's a lot of girls in college. I know the young lady last year was a pitcher. She or it might have been two years ago. The uh, I think she was a black lady. She did really well. And the girl from Jamie? Yeah. And I uh huh. And yeah, I couldn't pronounce her name or shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't think of it. So why do you think that is? Or you think that's because they don't really He <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> saying the same thing over and over again. Like it's a woman it's just a oh, weird enough. Bro, right. it's not out it's there, bro. Not, it's if, really yeah. just the honest to true society, yeah. honestly. Especially with y'all too, and I love y'all too. Y'all are black women. Y'all are the most disrespectful people in the world. It's a fact. Black women are the most disrespected people in the world, and black people are the most disrespected people in the world. Yeah. And you're black and you're women. Women are disrespected as well. Though that's like another minority group, and they're minorities when it comes to sports. Fact. So because of that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's the reason why it doesn't get that type of recognition because sports is considered a man thing. It's considered a man sport. Uh, it's supposed to be only uh, targeted towards men. Uh, women supposed to stay like cheerleaders yeah. and stuff of that nature. That's the reason why it isn't. Honestly, it sucks though. And you, like, it, it's one of those things where the only thing you can, like, what can you do to change it? Like, that's what I've always like wondered. Like, we talk about these conversations. We talk about how bad it is. But what's the change in all of this? You gotta take steps like LeBron. Like LeBron is a person of power, right? Oh yeah, person. He's, try, he's trying to he's trying he's trying to bring awareness to that. So we have to have more and more. People we gotta have more of that from the yeah, top to right. the people from the bottom, to, so everybody can have that equal opportunity of displaying their craft. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end, at the end of the day, everybody deserves a fair chance to show the world that their sport is entertaining and just as engaging just as engaging as the men's sports as well. Yeah. So, so let's the, um. Who is the athlete that y'all look up to, man or woman? Man or woman, I'm sorry. 
Like, you looked at them growing up and you said, like, I want to be like that mofo right there. That's the baddest person ever. I didn't really look at athletes. I mean, that's just me. I think my family was my motivation. Mm. Like, my brothers, all my brothers went to college. My sister went to college. My sister played softball. Um, and I was a baby out of six. So my thing was, my job was, I'm going to be better than all of them. So... I'm better than all of them, so that was Dang. my job. <laughs> that was literally my job, so it is what it is. I mean, I have like an opposite like situation, because I'm the oldest out of three kids, so it's like I have to make the footsteps for my sisters to walk in or have a better life than me. Like, my parents gave up everything like to go to tournaments, to wake up in the morning for like early games. Spend money on hotels, money on everything, programs and everything. So I felt like I had to give back, give back. Like I know I didn't have to, and they would never ask me to give back. But it's like I'm gonna work as hard as I can and be the best person out here. So not only like I can be great and show like people who ever doubted me, like otherwise. But I want like my parents to like know that they spent their money like on a good thing. Like it just wasn't a waste of time. That's a dope thing they all had that supporting cast of your family. Because not, like, I feel like your family, just having your people that you live in, you know, every day, that have your back like that, I feel like that strength strengthens your foundation of your grind because it pushes you more, you know? Yeah, when you up in the, like, come up, it's really just all about the support. It's sometimes not even about needing the help. It's just about having somebody there just to support you. So right. having good people in your circle always is great. All right, so we seen we seen y'all serious side type shit. Mm -hmm. We want to see the the after game, after practice, what are y'all doing? Y'all partying? Y'all, what's, what's Listen, campus life like? I know to fan you. That's what I want to do. Like, we strike, strike, and strike again. I like, know y'all outfits on campus is hard. Strike. It's strike. Like, oh. around, like, <laughs> right. Right. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Very oh. serious. Like, like, right. like chicken wings, I right. wish they, yeah, I wish. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. You know, rat is a snake. A snake is an animal. An animal? <laughs> no, but like every day is like a party. Like it doesn't matter what it Wednesday, is. Wednesday, Thursday. From Friday to Sunday is club. Like it's you know that six hours like bus club, another yeah. club. No oh yeah, sleep. yeah, no sleep. That's what it is. Like if you like, you rarely go home sober. You will rarely <laughs> like, <laughs> like especially especially if you win. Like if you yeah. win, it's just a whole nother thing. But that go shit gotta feel good, team. bro. You win, like, you you win, win. a series. Oh, it's a party that day. That, like, that, day, day, that, after, that day. After after you get undressed in shower, oh, yeah. it's over. and it's, it's like, like all with at Memphis, all the athletes are cool with each other. Yeah. So like we we win, we throwing a party. Yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody party. Everybody come through. It now, real quick before we get it, I want to hear from you a little bit. Talk about that fried chicken. Talk about the fried chicken there. Cause I know, Listen. Because I've been in Southern, they had their fried chicken there. And it, it gets better every time. Like, new people, like, especially when new people come, they just be on their shit. They season it extra good. They make sure it's extra fresh. Maybe we had, like, leftovers the next day. Like, if we get lucky enough. The cornbread, nice and moist. Mm. Like, Damn. it's just a beautiful thing. Like, that was part of my. I came on a Wednesday for my recruitment. It's great, like, for real. And like it, it boosts the points. I'm not gonna lie. It literally boosts the points. And I'm not even a big fried chicken person. But when I yeah, went to, it's just like I'm from Maine. Let's be for real. Like, what you eat, like swordfish? <laughs> swordfish. First of all, Maine is a lobster state, and I do not eat swordfish. swordfish. <laughs> Oh, I do not no. eat any seafood. I'm not. A I'm like a fat boy snacker. You don't like eating. You're a snacker. I'm like a fat boy snacker. So like you're I'd a snacker. Rather, you don't even like. I rather have a snack than a meal. What's your go-to snack? It doesn't matter. I usually like make a, like when I get high. I usually make a bowl. And we high high high. High. Look, Jalen got high. Jalen got high. Like I make a bowl. Like I'm literally a fat boy snacker. It doesn't matter what snack. <laughs> Anything in my. So you're a smoker over a drinker. I wouldn't say that. I would say, like, I'm a Well, we ain't gonna say shit because the NCAA looks like. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Think about it. Give me that scholarship right back. No, 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 no. Let's be for real. Because if family got, ever got drug tested, let's be for real, every athlete would be done. Exactly. Well, they know. They know. Oh, they know. Nigga, they, Basketball, oh, oh, every 
Every college Every college makes the vibe. Yeah. Exactly. I'm sorry. And hey, you go to Bama? You telling me you not come on, bam, my nigga. Derek Henry, they all do it. Get out of here, bro. Yeah. God, yeah. I know Lamar Jackson, but yeah, I say Lamar Oh, what? Fuck your shit. I just want to hide with fuck, nigga. I just don't know what to Man, look, yeah. Man. But, mm, I was going to say something real ignorant. I'm passing to Josh. Say your ignorance. I feel like you gotta say it. Say it. No, go ahead, man. So I want to ask y'all something about the school side of things. You know, what I'm saying you being an athlete and all that, all that balancing. I know it. I know it's already hard for me. Like I had to switch majors because of how hard it was, and I'm just a regular nigga. Mm-hmm. So like with y'all, like how do you find that balance of, you know, what I'm saying still being good at your craft, still grinding your craft, making sure that you consistently good, and you also still good in the books. Wait, before you answer that. With y'all scholarship, like how does y'all scholarship work with y'all academics? Like, do you have to maintain a certain GPA and stuff yes. like that? Oh uh, yeah, to be eligible. Yeah. The NCAA rule is two point oh, two point oh, two point oh higher. Oh shit! Oh god! Give me a bad shit, right? Golf club. Jackson State, come call you boys. You'd be surprised how many niggas. No, Bro, I know. No, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of people that don't make it. I'm a five-star recruit. That two point of them kiss my ass. Oh God, I'm not doing no work. I'm paying someone to do my work. Two point it's like when you're really doing the bare minimum. That's what it's I feel you, I feel you, bro. But I know niggas that struggle in school. Like, like it's. <laughs> like, let's just be real. Like, like, it's, it really just especially don't click athletes, to some people. Especially athletes. Exactly. Like, when it so comes to sleep, barely get none. Like, and they don't cut y'all really like. No I slack. They don't cut y'all no slack. But. No, no, no. They do cut us a little slack yeah. because they know, like, the schedule's literally wake up at 5 a.m., go eat breakfast. So, with the I hate to say it too. That's your job. Like, this is a so whole time job. You, once, you, from, once you got that scholarship and you work there, you're you're kinda, you're, you're, you're hiring. Working. You're the employee. Yeah. So it's kind of like you got to be there. Mm-hmm. It's like from 5 a.m. to at yeah. least like. So y'all waking up at 5 every morning? Every morning. Damn. Wait, wait walk uh, us through okay. like a, a day. Okay. 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 Each, okay. each one of you. So, uh, in the fall, 5 a.m., 5 a.m., I'm waking up. I got to be at Waste at 5.45. We lift at 6 o'clock. I'm done with Waste at 6.30. I come back to the dorm. I shower. I have class at 9.10. After I go to class, I have another class at maybe like 11.30. Um, and then I'm chilling out. I go get something to eat, go to study hall because we had freshmen had to have six hours a week for study hall. Go get some study hall hours, come back, practice at 3, but we have to be there 15 minutes early. Got to leave the dorm room at like 2.15, got to be at the field at 2.45. Mm-hmm. Get, um, get to practice, get dressed, practice is from 3 to 6. After that, Damn. you still have, you have mentoring, which counts towards your study hall hours. Nigga ain't. So you have mentoring, <laughs> you have, we split up two groups, we have mentoring from 7 to 8, yeah. but then you stay in a little bit longer because you have a lot of work. And then you go back home, sleep, eat. Do it all over again. Nigga, you ain't even got time to beat your dick. I'm not going to. Hey, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's right. I'm not gonna lie though. Here's stuff like that though. It be making me feel like I'm not gonna lie. It's like y'all get to get up, but y'all get to get up at least after 10. Yeah. I'm up there. Man. 10? Early. Freshman year? Early. I was not waking up. Oh, oh, freshman year? 12 on the clock. 12 on the clock. Oh, God. I had a class. I was early. Other than that, you could pay me to I just feel like I got tired of it. Like, in the fall, because we go harder because we're not in season. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm waking up and it's still dark outside. And I come out of waste and it's still it's dark. dark. So like, still dark? No, no sleep. sleep. Okay, walk no us through your day. Yeah, for real. Okay, so we wake up at 5 a.m. have to get there by 5.45 because we have to, like, get there 15 minutes early at everything. Like, mm-hmm. everything is 15 minutes early. Freshman, my freshman year, we had to get there 30 minutes early because we had to do, like, shit before everything. So usually... So usually we can, like, four. Like, like yes. You? Freshman year, you For real. Did you a party? My yes, club. I would. Because I'm club. determined. <laughs> 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 but you gotta have like you gotta have you some type of free time. You gotta release it. My free time is sweet, man. Insane. 
But at the um five forty five, it usually like in around seven, something like that, like seven. And then we had to go to breakfast because like we had to get in a meal like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like we had, had to, to eat. It's like team team meals or something. No, it's like usually only the people who really stay on campus because that's the only people they got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Yeah, so after that, I have to see breakfast. It's like 8 o'clock. I get to shower, and then I get to class at 9. And then we have like three classes during the day. And then at, well, it starts at 3.30, but we have to be there at 3, go to the field, set up, play, um, or practice to like 6.30, 7. And then we had, like, freshmen had to stay longer because, like, we had to clean up. We had to clean up by ourselves. And there was only two of us. There was only two of us doing it. Like, and if one of us had class, they're doing it by themselves. Damn. Yeah. So after that, um, we would have to go eat dinner and then go back to study hall. Like, we had study hall. And that was for, like, two hours. So the day ended at, like, 9 o'clock. So, okay, so, uh, let me get this real quick. You got it, brother. So, is that for weekends, too, or is that just like... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the NCAA yeah. has a rule that you, you have to have like, a full day off. Yeah. You can't, and you can't go, like, in the fall. So you can't go, like... Oh, God. They, 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 they get a day off, but literally, like... You know, freak athletes. You can't go over in the fall, like, in your off season. You cannot go over 20 hours a week. Yeah. Like, but like field play? I like, mean like, like just like practice training, like none of that. Like they like can't fall and spring are two different Yeah. Seasons. So like they can't they can't make you work out if they're over twenty hours. And if you're over twenty hours they get in trouble. So we're hearing those schedules, right? Like have y'all ever considered like just fuck this? I'm just yes. it's not it's yeah, not yeah. it's not worth it. I'm gonna quit today. I'm Listen, just gonna be a regular college mm-hmm. student. I I want like there's always gonna be a time where you wanna quit, where you wanna give up, where you just wanna lay in your bed, where you don't wanna go to class because it's so exhausting, so tiring, like you're tired of how people treat you, talk to you, like how they disrespect you. But at the end of the day it's all worth it, like seeing your family having that you're doing like what you love. Because at the end of the day when you step on that field, you feel like you're home again. Like it feels like like every, the world, like all the problems has stopped and you could just breathe. Like, yes, practice is hard, but you know, you have to practice to get better. Training hard, you don't want to wake up at 5 a.m., but like, when else are you going to do it? Like, who, who else is going to motivate you other than yourself? Yeah. I wanted to quit in August. Like, Damn, nigga, she got like, I, I have a good reason though. Got because I got to school. I just, <laughs> I just had got to school, and Maybe I like, unpacked. I lost my biggest motivator. Like my dad ended up passing due to COVID or whatever. Uh-huh. So like, I was like, fuck that, I'm not coming back. Like I'm not. I was, I was like, fuck this shit, I'm not coming. But and then I was like, you know what? He want me to finish, so I'm gonna finish. So I came back in the fall. Was like, like I was, I just was on my feet like 24 seven, literally. So it was just like. Yeah, you have times where you want to quit. Or you want to say you just fuck it all and go home. But I mean, at the end, it's worth it. Yeah. That's real. So, real. okay. Y'all being too, I love that we got two women athletes. I, I love this perspective. Now, I'm not going to get into your personal life, but you can talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, do y'all date? Athletes, or do y'all be like, I'm not gonna date a regular guy because you want him to. And I've had my friend, she wants track. She says she cannot date a regular college student because she needs someone to understand her schedule because of what she knows. Like, talk about that. I feel like when I date, you just have to be. It doesn't matter to me. As long as you. It really doesn't matter. As long as you're understanding. Because I'm gonna tell you just how it is. I'm gonna be busy. Like, yeah. I just. I'm, I just have to be busy. I can't just. I can't tell you my schedule. It's just, it's always busy. So I feel like if you were an athlete prior, I don't care about college. Like, I mean, everything, everybody falls off. But if you were like an athlete before, and you, you understand, like you have a busy schedule. So I feel like that's understandable. It'll be understandable. First of all, I go to FAMU. There ain't no boyfriend, girlfriend, FAMU love story. Let's be for real. Yeah, let's, let's, that nigga's not going to cheat. Everybody, everybody for everybody. Everybody don't cheat. I didn't say cheat. But, but she was like, no. don't want a relationship. And you like, don't know that. It's some it's whole time, time, man. It, it, actually, listen, it's whole time. It's whole time. It's whole time. Every action that I've been around and that I know of, like, mm-hmm. I know a lot of people. So it's like, and I'm a very trustworthy person. So yeah. when people, like, like people levitate to tell me shit. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm hearing this from this person. I'm like, oh, shit, but I thought they was with this person. Like, <laughs> yeah. damn, mm-hmm. this person was, 
looking up with this person. So was he. Like, I was like, damn. Like, can't nothing to yourself. But. It's nothing it, but a big ass orgy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not calling. Wait, literally, you got a story? Yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing as a family love story. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, I want it to be like, I always see at homecoming how there's like these older couples just like, they've been together for years since their freshman year. But like, now all you hear is like, oh, people not ready because they're in college. Oh, they just want to have fun. Oh, I'm very much an old school type of lover. I love old school type of lover. Yeah, I love in basketball. So I mm, that, that was something. Yeah, I, yeah I want that. Mm. <laughs> I think love and basketball. I think love and 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 love love and 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 love Right, like if you can't can't be weak minded. Yeah, very much so. Like if you're weak minded, then you you should know that you're not ready. She's saying you weak minded. You're not ready. Basically, yeah. I'm still like Beyonce pictures on you. I don't even think that. You know, like yeah, girls be like you may not be liking all the girl pictures. I'd be like, I see where she's coming from, but you know. I think that's I I think that's insecure. If I can't like my friend, my female friend's pictures, you're tripping, bro. Yeah. Like I would have to agree. Like liking pictures, liking pictures is nothing. Now if I'm if I'm if I'm flirting, if I'm flirting, when you in the comments, yeah, get that shit. Don't play with you. That's fact. That's fact. What about posting on my IG story? You ain't in my shit like that. Real like I don't see no Is it something you want to say? the pixel you can't repost on IG story the picture okay that's fine that's fine so it's, 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 a, it's a difference it's the difference when you call me with the heart house the Julie emoji like you know the hot emoji with like yeah, that like, yeah. calm down calm down calm down cause you don't even what you mean what you hot for what you what you hot now what you drooling for I'm saying dude Okay. And they gonna wear that same fashion over onesie looking like WWE <laughs> wrestlers, nigga. Y'all see that shit. Or that fruit roll up, uh, Sandra. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you In 4K? She in trouble. Wow, that's a good one. She in trouble. Man, that's I was dressed in some of that. I don't know what caught on more. That dress of Casamigos. I think it was a double pandemic. And they was had that dress on and was off the costume? Facts. Oh god. It was like World War Three. <laughs> what? Let's <laughs> be chatting, bro. Hey, man, I told you I'm not getting this shit off my chest, nigga. So, okay. Mm-hmm. But earlier, though, you did touch on that homecoming uh, love story and all that stuff. Basically, I wanted to ask you because, you know, I'm not really that well knowledged on all the black culture. I, I'll, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. So I want to know, like, how's that? How sad? Like, do you understand how sad that is? What? He's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not like that educated. Black he's well, he's, he's, he's in the day. I'm <laughs> damn, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What the 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 fuck? Like, how was the homecoming experience, like, at a HBCU? Um, amazing, expensive, chaotic, no sleep. <laughs> like, oh, literally, you know, especially as, as an athlete doing the whole homecoming thing. First of all, we didn't even get to watch the game because we had to work at the concession. Which, Damn. No other, yeah. You had to work, had to work in the concession the whole entire time. We couldn't, like, and on top of that, our band is, like, number one in Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're about to go to France. All, all exclusive pay. Like, 
Uh, and then was it majorites? I think that was the, that's what they call majorite. We don't have majorites. Oh, y'all have majorites? Are no, y'all big? <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all missing out. Chill out, baby. Chill out. Wait, so HBCU be going like battle the bands? Yes. And y'all be having no majorites? And we win every single time. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's like, like, I'm like, we're all paying you. Yeah. yeah. Like, See, that is. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, my man. <laughs> Every day I get a tech, bro. And, yeah. Not even drumline. It's on drum line. It's on my list. That's one thing, nigga. Yo, yo list, nigga, your book. Line. Nigga got a book of shit. Hey, the music, hey, but drum line, they help drum line. Hey, I thought Atlanta A and T was a real school. Oh God, I mean, <laughs> it's not. That's so crazy. So okay, I want to kind of segue a little bit, right? You go to a PWI, you go to an HBCU. I feel like y'all's school lives are night and day. So, like, talk about how it is being an athlete at an HBCU. Are you, how are you looked at on campus? Or do people even make a big emphasis about that on campus? There's, it depends who you are, mm -hmm. like, in your status, really. Because we do get posted a lot now. Um, last year it was nothing to look but now it is. So, like, they post me a lot. So, a lot of people are like, hey, are you that girl that plays softball? So, I mean, it just really depends who you are and who, what your status is. Because okay. for us, softball, like, they love softball at FAMU. Like, that's a big one. We come with crowds, we come with fans, everything. So, I mean, it just really depends because football, yes, they have that status 100%. Football has a status where. Even if they're good or bad. Like, yeah, I feel like football always going to be a sport. Yeah, every time. Honestly, America's the best sport. Yeah, yeah. 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 that shit going. Yeah. And basketball, basketball gets basketball love too, enough. Yeah. too. Come on. Yeah, but like, if you go to like, Florida, I, Alabama, football is king, though. I don't care. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. No, football king. Football, 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 football still king. Hell yeah. I feel like the sports, though, are very supportive. Like, mm -hmm. like very supported by a lot of people. Like, That's what I was about to ask, too. It's just that black love. Yeah. That's what the other team are supportive as well. Like, that shit is. So, okay, so you got a PWI, and I know Memphis has, like, Penny Hardaway's the head basketball coach. Y'all have Imani Bates. I'm used to the transfer. Mm -hmm. He was a star freshman on the uh, men's basketball team. Y'all made it to the tournament. I think y'all lost to Gonzaga in the second round. Like, how how is that, like, as being a softball player? Are you recognized around campus, or it's just, like, it's so many other athletes you've been in? Not at all. Uh, um, you know, our softball team, our only fans be our family and our friends. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, they charge, like, you know how they charge, like, to get into basketball games, because basketball plays at the FedEx Forum, where the Grizzlies play, so they charge you to get into, um, charge you to get into FedEx Forum, they charge you to get into football games, but our games are free. So, like, that Damn. tells you, like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. So, that yeah. you, like, They're like, please come. Yeah. All them <laughs> like, <laughs> Like you're dead, you just free. Park your car and just walking and like yeah. it's it's no. That's just oh, huge disparity. Oh, yeah, you can walk five right. different ways. This is hard for you. I think on the hill. I feel kind of bad though because it's like you kind of working just as hard as everybody else is. Yeah, it's not more. yeah, it's not more. Just for you to be like, oh, well, I like, like a free game. game. It's like I feel like women athletes work more because the men are automatically on TV because like that's what. That's what it is, but by women, you guys are They're running to catch up to the men. The men are catch handed up. everything. Literally, I swear to God, I, our football players are handed, handed every single thing. Handed, handed motherfucker. Like, like, they're mentors, they homework. They don't, they don't, they don't get, like, what's that? Like, it's just ridiculous. She will all smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and then they be complaining about, like, verse. Nigga, you got 120 plus on your team. We got... 10 or 15. Yeah, I definitely don't have, I didn't get all my merch. I'm Mrs. Cleats. Yes, I'm Mrs. Bad Gloves. I'm Mrs. I'm not sure. I ain't getting none of this shit. Be for real. Come on, bro. Bro, do better than that. Bro, bro. Over there got that damn Lobos and shit. Oh, God. You a billionaire, nigga. It was not like the whole athletics. It's basketball. Yeah. Damn, that's fucked up. I think the only way we get recognition is other athletes. Like, if you were in Memphis softball, they be like, oh, you play softball? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a song. It's a song. Black and black. You're a manager? No. I'm on a scholarship. Don't do that. You need a real strip like that. Girl, like, no. You said most motherfuckers some respect. Yeah. No, thank you. That is very heartening, though, because how was like, okay, you said like you put in the hard work. I want to get into the training because softball, 
is different from baseball. I say your field shorter, the balls are bigger. He had this ready to say. Yeah, like, like, fuck, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, so like the field is shorter and things like that, and then too, like even like the way y'all pitch, I always wanted that. Y'all have to wind that shit up, then throw. Y'all got the bowling no cap? I had to ask. No, that. that's a good question. I don't pitch. I don't pitch. I don't pitch. I don't pitch. Wait, what are, y'all, what are your positions actually? Sorry, sorry. The only oh. thing we asked to. Um, I play first and third. So I play the corners. Okay. I feel. I feel. Out there. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. A lot of real estate. Okay. So, okay. So, how is the training for softball too? Like, do y'all do everything the baseball players do, or is just like, is there a different type of regimen or whatever? Um, I feel like baseball has a different swing than softball. Um, they more have like. A uh, golf swing because the pitches are coming down, and then um, with us, we more have to swing a little because we have to match the plane of the ball. So it's just like, yeah, it's definitely different training. Like if you look at look at it, baseball, like baseball players cannot hit off softball players. Oh, not at all. Baseball. Because baseball has they have more reaction time to. Uh, I just, yeah, to hit uh, like a ninety-five mile pitch. But Where I just move. I just move. I just move with that. Huh? <laughs> she said, huh? I disagree with that. But, but, but let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's just sit there. I give up. I give up. I give up. Literally, our ball is coming, what, 65 miles per hour. And it's coming up and down, side, side. And it breaks at the last minute. Okay, but baseball, they don't have no up pitches. All the pitches are coming down. It's easy to adjust. It's easier to see with eye. With softball, it's not easy to see with eye because it's coming with Just because it's bigger and yellow, that doesn't mean it's supposed to be. We were pitching like 35, 45 feet away from each other? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not 90 miles per hour? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For real. Mm-hmm. Like, Damn. Damn. Oh, man. Damn. 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 You lost. That shit done up, twin. But no, here and there, I don't want to see 100 miles an hour pitch, though. I don't want to see a softball pitch, though. Okay, so listen. So if you play baseball. Yeah. They can't play no baseball. That shit up. Let's see if you hit my ass. I played baseball in second grade. Okay, I'm going to say great. I'm going to say great. Every non-baseball softball person says, oh, I can hit it. I'll hit one over. It's not that easy. Come hit that bitch. Come hit 65 miles per hour when it's moving from left to right, up and down. Let me shout out. It is great. When the bitch throw a change up and you sit there and fool it off like this. We bet so. Yeah. I put, put change up. Let's do it. <laughs> I put no. You need to hit it on a, a live pitch. Like a live pitch. Ain't live. no bullshit okay. with bad cages. Get your ass in the field. I'm Ooh. sorry. You <laughs> mean? I learned. A lot. I got a picture. 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 I got a Ooh. Y'all stay tuned. I'm trying to hit that motherfucker. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got anything to say, man? But man, honestly though, I really appreciate y'all for being the first part of this series that we're starting on this channel, the College Athlete Series. You know, we have wonderful softball guests and uh, great guests. Yeah, have a good season next year. Think positive. Yeah, yeah, we positive. Go to the game too. Oh, yeah, we are. And oh hell yeah! <laughs> hey, no, I got my homegirl. She go to she go to Memphis right now. She on uh, Memphis Palm. Yeah. Oh. Aaliyah Young. Penny Hardaway, that's my homeboy. Shut up. Oh my God. I fought with Imani. I fought with Imani. She on, she on Palm. <laughs> uh, the, I need it. Yeah. Uh, 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 Memphis yeah. Palm is like a dance team for Memphis. Yeah. Oh, she it dances. Is. It it like, yeah. Yeah. Them niggas be sweating. Okay. Anyway, you guys, that's all for today. I'm Cartier J and I had the last Cartier J with no Cartiers. Keep so. buying condoms.